Hi, my name is Do Kong. I've read countless self-help books, interviewed many of their authors, and also given several talks. In this video, I'll summarize what I have learned from these experiences in just five minutes. Number one, the growth mindset matters. If you could read only one self-help book, my top recommendation is this. Dr. Dweck's work has profoundly influenced many books in this genre. In summary, embrace a growth mindset rather than a fixed mindset. Life is a journey of becoming, not simply being. Reflect on your core value. Are you spending a lot of time on self-help but not truly really believing that people, including yourself, can change? If so, you are building on very shaky ground. Keep exploring and learning. Exploit less. You will end up squeezing dry related books. This connects to all the books about defeating perfectionism. Becoming means ever-changing. There is no room for change if you are already perfect. Perfectionism and a growth mindset don't go together. Where better is your best is where you want to be. Become better. Don't be perfect. Recommended books on this topic. Also, check out my talk at EO. Number two, intention matters. Why are you waking up at 4 a.m.? Why are you doing a smartphone detox? Why do you want to be rich? Why do you want to lose weight? The why matters in all these actions. Most authors I've interviewed, regardless of their subject, emphasize the importance of intention. Your why becomes your motivation and it helps clarify priorities in an era overflowing with life hacks. I wake up at 4 a.m. to become a better version of myself why? because why? I want to live a happy life. Why? Continuously why? asking why leads to the ultimate why? why question. Why do you live? What's the purpose of your life? While to be happy is a common answer, many authors argue that a meaningful life is a better one. A meaningful life is not always happy or pleasant, but it is more fulfilling. A meaningful life often involves serving others, building social connections, and contributing to something greater than yourself. The good news is you can live a meaningful and generally happy life. Related books include, ultimately, if you keep asking why, you will find that self-help should help us connect more with others. Never forget this. It is not about being selfish. One nope. side note, if you aim to improve yourself purely for bigger hedonic pleasures, you might want to reconsider. Chasing ever-increasing pleasures is a fast track to dissatisfaction and misery. What we know for sure about human beings is that they quickly adapt to new pleasures, leading to an endless pursuit rather than fulfillment. Number three, focus on delayed gratification rather than instant gratification. All the good, healthy things are hard to do at the moment, but they are beneficial in the long term. Exercise, studying, focusing, reducing drinking, quitting smoking, cold plunges, eating that freaking kale. Choose the hard thing. Deal with pain first, and the pleasure will naturally follow. Related books include Slow Down. What makes you feel better too quickly is usually harmful and unnatural. All books about habits can fall here. Hard things are hard to start, but making them habits can make them easier. Those are summaries. Here are my takeaways ways and action items. Number one, read and write. Reading may feel more effortful than watching videos and listening to podcasts. That effort is key. It is like a mental workout. You will need that cognitive endurance and confidence to identify your own meaning and happiness in life and to be unswayed by the overflow of useless life hacks. Write more, not to make thousand dollars in monthly passive income, but to think. Writing will help you keep answering your why questions, thinking deeper to find your own answers about life, and to be confident confident with your answers. Number two, dare to introduce constraints into life. You may think you need the whole universe and endless freedom to be happy. However, happiness is a complex equation. You cannot solve a complex equation with too many variables without constraints. Introduce people, community, paths, and plants into your life. Your options will be more limited because of them, but you will save your life in diverse ways by connecting with them. Living with others may seem inefficient, but it actually makes it a lot easier to find meaning and happiness in your life. It will make you want to be a better person. That is an ultimate motivation. Also, that's how you can savor the present while also having the direction to move forward. That's how you live life and grow at the same time. Take action. All the gurus, authors, life hackers can make suggestions, but they don't know about you. You have different genes, upbringing, environment, aptitude, personality, duties, fears, strengths, and weaknesses. What worked for them may not work for you. Actually, try things and customize them for yourself. This part cannot be done by watching content, you should actually start doing the thing that you've been putting off. Otherwise, consuming self-help content is no different from watching porn. You may feel satisfied at the moment, but you will still be miserable.